All right, guys. So as you can see here, I got the uh, the wood burner outside, uh, powering my home in the winter time. So hot water and uh, and heat. So my livelihood is now gonna rest on uh, my chainsaw. <laughs> so this is my first year actually having this thing. So I've been stocking the uh, the wood burner with 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 lots of lots of wood. Uh, I'm still not done yet. I got, I got a lot to put up there. But basically, um, the reason why I'm posting this video is I just bought this today. I'm really excited about it. It's a steel 271. Um, MS 271 and uh, it came with a two-year warranty which is pretty awesome but uh, it's a beautiful thing <laughs> um, but what I have been doing is I've been using my little cheap saw I've been using this for quite some years now but obviously not cutting as much wood you know because I don't really need to um, but this is like basically it's, it's, it's a pull and it's, it's basically a Walmart brand um, nothing really special about it it's been really great to me as far as with the branches and all that but it's definitely not going to cut what I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to cut giant logs, uh, down trees, especially even cutting trees down. Uh, but the reason why I'm posting this video, guys, is to kind of show you. I know it's not a really good comparison as a 42cc. This is going to be your 50cc. This is obviously a lot better, a lot better brand, uh, just a lot better in general. Um, but just some of the things that, uh, some pros and cons that I've already noticed eventually, just immediately off the bat that I really don't like about uh, this saw versus the, the cheap saw. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So basically, you're going to have your traditional, uh, you know, your little pull-out choke right here. And uh, and I love it. I, I'm, I guess I'm just used to it. You pull the choke out. Uh, you, you know, you pull it. You hear it start a little bit. It'll, it'll bog out. And then, you you know, you put it to about half. You pull it. It starts. You push it in. You're ready to rock. It's a whole lot easier. Um, but with this little this little new choke system with the steels, I don't, I don't want to say they're new. They've been around for years. But... Um, it's 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 kind of hard to get used to I guess it's kind of annoying if you have a steel um, I don't know maybe you might be able to agree with me I'm not sure but uh, basically you what you want to do is you want to pull the trigger all the way down both triggers and then push this all the way down and it's it's cheap plastic too which I really hate I mean this one is too but I mean for the money you should be getting something nicer uh, but basically uh, you bring it down to the full choke you pull it you know what I mean once you're ready to go put it on half choke but you can't actually once you get it going, like with this one, uh, you can't actually get going. You have to pull the both safeties down, and then it clicks into run. It's kind of weird. I guess it's something I have to get used to. I don't know. But uh, just a little tidbit, if you guys decide you want to buy a steel, um, you're not used to the choking thing. But other than that, I would say that is like the, the, the con. The only like thing that I don't like about this chainsaw. This thing is freaking sweet. It's scary also compared to this guy right here. Super excited. I'll use this guy as a backup. I can't cut logs with this thing. I've already tried. It won't work. It won't go through the logs. It's too small. This is a 20-inch bar. Um, I did. I was going to go with the 18-inch bar, but for $10 more, I got the 20-inch bar. So, um, But out the door, it was $379. I think I got a really good deal. I got all the all the goodies with it, you know, the, the bar oil and whatnot. But uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this thing up right now so you guys can hear it. Um, and then I have not cut any wood with it. I just came, I just got home from the dealer. That's, I'm so excited about it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just, uh, I'm going to go out in the woods really quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut down a, I guess I'll, I'll, a few cuts with this thing for the first time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just see, see how it works, how it performs. fire up the uh, the old beater uh, this might take a while to start but with the uh, with the steel I don't have to prime it which is good you got these little primer buttons on these chainsaws but with that one you don't have to do it that's pretty cool already tell a difference it's got a lot more power steel's definitely got a lot more power all right guys first cut with this uh new chainsaw <laughs>
impressive. My uh, my last chainsaw. Let me show you that I did. Come over here. I went and uh, started on this log right here, and I got this far before it actually bogged out. So <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about this one right here. But yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a giant piece of wood right there that I just cut, but actually, let me go right through the to the big part of the log right there. That's, I'd say that's a pretty good test. We'll see what that how that works out. You know, I might do a review on this chainsaw about two years from now because I'll be getting a lot of use out of it. So, but uh, pretty awesome. That's not too bad. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I just I posted this thing. It's not really a, a review on the chainsaw. It's really just I'm excited. Just got a new chainsaw and I want to post a video on it. But hopefully we learned something. If this is something you want to buy. Uh, but you know other than that if it's your first time stopping into my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching